ladies and gentlemen, congratulations on surviving April 2020. Welcome to May. And May ain't fucking around, and I ain't fucking around. And I will stop cussing when the world stops being so fucked up. At this point, you're either ready or you're not. Because there's a whole lot of bullshit out there. It's nothing but sugar pills and snake oil. Except for me, of course. Whoa. And I was looking for a sign to kick off May to give us an idea. And, well, we now have four active regions on the sun. And that is super duper awesome, fantastic Happy 4th of July and Merry Christmas type news, in my opinion, because we get a lot of bad signs and this comes off as a good sign, just like the other night when I was hanging out with the moon and Venus, Venus told me to have more faith that good things are going to happen. And wow, it just keeps getting better and better. Alex Lebers is talking about Comet F8 Swan. Photographed by Australian amateur Justin Tilbrook this morning. This is a fate swan, you know? And I have done my best to keep my karma really good and be an awesome guy that just racks up millions of karma points. And if that is a sin that has Jesus mad at me, then I guess Jesus is mad at me. But I do hope he forgives me, and I'll pray on that later. But now, we're talking about this gorgeous, beautiful comet. C-2020, Fate Swan, F-8, baby. And so, it's getting brighter and more beautiful. And the sun might just be waking up ahead of schedule. Uh, quotation marks around the schedule, because it was a guess. Because I've been saying July, but I would be so happy having it happen now you know halo cme four active regions are present on the sun only ar12760 has old solar cycle 24 polarity other three seem to be new solar cycle 25 polarity although they are small regions that's what she said and so we've all been going through a long dark night of the soul and solar minimum we're like the total jerks, gaslighters, and shot and fruitists. We're like in total control, true, control, control, and do whatever they want and get away with it. And nobody can stop them. But it's almost like we're watching that crappy empire crumble before our eyes. And no, everything is not going to fall apart. The good guys and good girls are going to step in and make everything better, improve all things. So, I mean, that's what I'm reading from these signs. Of the sun waking up pretty fast now. It's not totally a sure thing that everything's going to get super better in the near future. But it's just a reminder to me, the T. Yeah, I have maintained faith. Because for me personally, the last five years have been an absolute battle, struggle, constant combat on a spiritual and astro astral levels. And, um, you know, so... I have been looking forward to this solar maximum with super great focus. Believing that great things are super possible again, including the return of rock and roll. And if the sun gets kick assy enough and knocks out some badass, super magic, next level cosmic rays, we could see the Cthulhu virus get weakened greatly. Now, I don't want you to let down your guard now. I'm asking you to play super badass best ever level defense throughout May. It's definitely May Day, May 2020. And it is going to be like a battle between heaven and hell. And I'm on the good guys team. And so, yeah, we got a big possible hurricane season coming up. We have civil unrest absolutely brewing. And not only that, you have people out there who are stirring the shit and trying to divide and conquer uh, a civilization that is on the brink. It's already divide and conquered, so like pouring gasoline on it and gaslighting is not going to help anyone anywhere at all. So definitely be cool and play great defense. And please don't forget, 
life is good, God is great, and you're pretty awesome too. Industrial engineer, Irene Cures. Awesome. Awesome! Yeah. We have four active regions. AR-2760 Beta. AR-2761 Blaget. AR-2762 Gender A Class B 1.3 Flare. And brand new Spankin. Ooh, Spankin sounds good. That means I might get to make out before August, which is what I had scheduled or planned or guessed. And that would be fantastic news as well. What's it talking about? Oh, yeah. Spanking. Brand spanking new AR-2763. Beta. Could it be that the sun is waking up? Yes. 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 That's my guess. May take a little while. But it's definitely another thing to get excited about. And I've been in a pretty good mood for like four and a half days straight. And that has been totally weird. Totally weird. Because on paper, we're still getting totally getting our ass kicked by the slow Thanos Cthulhu plague, the dividers and conquerors, and, you know, there's general unhappiness around. But we are reconnecting with Mother Nature. And every time I get a message or signal from an animal, it's always like, I love you, you're cool. I'm like, I love you too, you're cool. And trees, also. Anyway, so, good news. But don't let your guard down. Pretty please. Watch your six in the fifth month, which is May. First, five to one, baby. One in five. Popo Katepel is giving us a pretty interesting signal. Popo Katepel is a volcano. And, uh, you know, I would recommend all my X Men women, if you're in Los Angeles, maybe get to Texas as fast as you can if you can afford it. Uh, relocate for yourself and your family. Um, I got a weird feeling about the West Coast over the next two or three months. We'll see, though. But stay cool. Grand Solar Maximum. In your face. And hopefully in your mouth. Oh, no. Yeah, so the sun will come out tomorrow, which is today. And I'm very excited. The sun is waking up right before our eyes. Grand solar maximum, baby. That gives me body tingles. Can you feel it? I'm sending you good vibes. And, you know, every month I, I do a fundraiser. How it works, really, it's so crazy. Like, I work my ass off one month. And then at the end of that month start the next month i'm like all right guys i solely depend on y'all to make sure that i can pay all my bills to keep the news up and running and magically over like the last four years it's worked every single time and so hopefully i've done good enough in april so that uh you guys can keep me around as your planetary defense commander your friend captain oh my god i'm austin star lord the new thor seven because there are more than one thors on the planet or even female Thors. Oh, and, you know, the T. That's my first name. An American, a Texan, and an Earthling. So if you'd like to donate in my other videos, and buy this one, I'll leave links for you in the information box. I'd appreciate it. Um, got three days left. The goal was like 825. But if you're like super duper rich, you can send me like a a video game system in a video game with the TV or like a car or like a moped or a motorcycle during a ride. Now I'm getting way ahead of myself. Okay. That is exciting. So, all right. Everybody have a great night. And I'll be kicking around. I think this means I get to be happy for at least a few more hours. Awesome. God bless everyone. The sun is so cool. You're so cool. God is so cool. Jesus Christ is so cool. The sun will come out today. It's solar maximum. Grand solar maximum. Oh, that's going to be fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And people with sense of humor are some of the best people out there. <sighs> Astro Fight Club, I love you. I'm super grateful. Can you feel my gratefulness? Yeah, sometimes I battle with the humility and the humbleness. Uh, 
and I'll work on it always. But I'm definitely always super grateful without a doubt. I love you. And it's strange that Comet Swan's color is the same color as Billie Eilish and Taylor Swift's eyeballs. Or the in, You know, their eyes. And they're both Sagittarius. And the, the South Node is going into Sagittarius. So, you know. You know what that means? 